Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about the commonly used methods that will help you to work on sets. So we have understood the basic of sets in Python and now let us understand how you can utilize the methods available for the sets to manipulate few things within the sets. So these are very commonly used methods and I'll be covering a lot of them so that you get a good hold of Python programming and understanding of the data structures and set methods. Okay, so as we are following the same practice, we'll go through the documentation. So we'll be very frequently referring to the tutorial and library reference. So if you go to the tutorial here, if you find the sets, you won't find a lot more detail around the method. So if you can go back and then go to the library reference instead of the tutorial if you're not able to find those methods. So in the library reference, if I go to the set set types and here you will see that it will give you a lot more detail about the set and the methods and uh, the uh, all, all the different, you know, uh, functions that are available within um, the set within Python for the set operations or working on the set. So you can see union intersection difference. All these are the functions that we'll be using and we'll understand what exactly these functions will do. So if you want, you can read through to get the advanced detail, but whatever is required as for, for the Python programming for the automation testing, I will anyways cover in this particular tutorial. So I prepared a copy here. So uh, uh, the list of items that I'll be covering in this particular tutorial. So let me quickly copy it and then go to PyCharm and I'll create a new file and I'll name it as um, set methods. All right. Now here, let me paste all of it and we'll go ahead and let me comment it out and we'll go ahead and understand these methods one by one. Okay. So as you can see, add element to the set. It's very simple adding an element to the set. Remove will remove the element. Discard will remove the element if uh, the element is present. So remove and discard are uh, similar. They'll remove the element. Pop will remove and return uh, an arbitrary uh, arbitrary element from the set. So uh, it basically removes. So pop, remove, discard. So there is a minute difference between these. So pop, um, so for example, remove will raise the key error, discard won't, and pop will raise the key error as well. Uh, then clear will remove all the elements from set. So these are very commonly used methods that we'll be having a look at. Then when you're working with two sets, so you can join the two sets. So you have the union method and the update method then if you want to just keep the duplicates within the two sets you have intersection and intersection update if you want to keep all excluding the duplicate then you can use the symmetric difference method and symmetric difference update method right so there is very minute uh, difference uh, the, the, there is not a minute difference there is a difference between symmetric difference and symmetric difference update similarly intersection and intersection update but I won't be covering that as part of this tutorial. That's a bit of advanced topic for the Python programming uh, and not required too much in the automation. So uh, I'll maybe cover it as a separate tutorial later. So uh, then if you want to return a set containing, let me uh, change it. So containing containing difference between two or more set, then you can have the difference and difference update. And then you have the is subset and is superset method to figure out whether the set is a subset of uh, another set or it's a superset of another set. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead and learn these or understand these one by one. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll define a demo set one. So I'll name a variable as demo set one and I will define certain values there. So for example, as we took the previously, so I'll say Delhi. So I'll define the name of the cities. I'll copy the same set and I'll rename it to, to demo set two and let's have few more values in it. So I'll say New York. Okay, so now we have two sets. Now let's understand these methods or functions one by one. So adding an element or removing an element, right? So say for example, I want to add a element. Okay, so let me print the demo set one first and then after manipulating what values it will return. Okay, so let me print demo set one. 
and after printing after printing demo set one say for example i want to add some items so i'll just say demo set one dot and it will list out the suggestions so i want to add something there right so i can add a new value into the item so i can say say for example gold cost okay and after adding the item let's see what it prints okay so before and after so now you can see delhi sydney kolkata melbourne and then gold coast has been added to this particular set after we uh, after we call the method add okay so pretty simple straightforward adding a new value into the existing set now the second one is removing the element so after adding let's say for example i want to remove so i can say demo set one dot remove and the element name that i want to remove so for example i want to remove delhi from the set and then again print demo set one okay so now we have base set we are adding an item then we are removing the item and see what it prints okay so this is the base set after adding an item it added gold coast after removing delhi it has removed the item and has printed the updated set in this particular line all right so that's the remove now discard and pop will do similar thing so if i say discard it will still return the same result right or if i say pop here so i can say pop so pop doesn't accept any argument so i can simply say pop dot pop and it will return it will remove an item from the set so usually pop re uh, removes the item uh, and it will return so you can see that it has returned uh, the list with an item pop there okay so there is no delhi at the moment if i run again so it might second time it might pop some other item right so as we know that set is not sequence so it it doesn't have any indexes to hold the values so whatever value at that particular instance is at the end pop will remove that right so at this particular time delhi might not have been in the last place so it has kept delhi if i run again you will see that some other value got removed right so at this time we have melbourne delhi cold coast sydney let me run again and you can see that we have kolkata this time right so melbourne has been removed so that's the difference between pop and remove and discard side so right so remove and discard you have to provide the element that you want to remove and in pop it will automatically remove the last element um, from the set uh, whatever the element is at that particular time right uh, then clear will remove all the elements from the list so we'll cover that later so let, let me cover that as well so for example here after pop let me remove okay or let me clear the list okay so after clearing let's see what it prints in demo set one so it has cleared and it has printed set right the the empty set so that's what happens with the clear now let me remove all of these and let's go to the joining of two sets right so there are methods of union and update which we can use to join the two sets now say for example we want to join these two sets so what will happen is it will join the two sets and as set doesn't hold the duplicate values so the join set will have delhi kolkata melbourne sydney new york and lucknow right so what we can do is say for example we want to join the set and have a set three and i want to say demo set one dot union okay so i can say dot union and i need to provide the other set with which i want to do union right so we can use the union method and that will join the set now here let me print demo set three all right so let me run this and you can see kolkata lucknow melbourne delhi sydney new york and no duplicate values have been printed here so it has joined the two sets now i'll i'll copy the whole thing and i'll explain the difference between the union and update right so usually with union it joins the two sets and returns a new set so we can store it in this demo set three and when we print it it's a new set right but if we say update what update does is it updates the 
first set. So here in this case, I'm updating demo set one with the values in demo set two. So what it will do is it will update the existing set. So in this particular case, if I'll say demo set one, then it will return the same values, right? So in this case, I can use either union or update, but we have to make sure that with the union, it will return a new set. But in the case of update, it won't return a new set. So if I say demo set four and want to store this update values because it's, it's not returning a new set. So you will see that demo set four will print none because demo set one has been updated with the values in the demo set two. So that's the minor, you know, difference, but you can use a demo set. Uh, you can use union and update to perform or achieve the same thing. Okay. So let me uh, remove these lines here or let me keep them and move to the next method. So keep only duplicate. So intersection and intersection update. So intersection, what it will do is it will keep only the duplicate intersection update will update the set on which you will perform the intersection update. So you have to, you know, follow the same concepts as union and update. So if I say intersection here, and in this case, it will return a new set. So I can print the new set and it will have the intersection of the two sets. So all the common values, Delhi, Kolkata, Melbourne, Sydney have been printed. Now I'll copy the same thing. And if I say intersection update in this particular case, so what will happen is it will update demo set one and then I can print just demo set one and the return values or the printed values will be exactly same in this particular case, right? So intersection will return a new set, which we can store in demo set three, but intersection update will update the set on which you are performing the intersection update. Similarly, if we want to keep, uh, you know, all excluding the duplicates, if for example, I want to find the symmetric difference and symmetric difference update. So what this will do is it will keep all excluding the duplicates. So let's say we are using symmetric. So symmetric difference in first case and then symmetric difference update. Okay. Let's see what it prints. Okay. And in this particular case, you will see both of them return the same values because symmetric difference and symmetric difference update, it will keep all excluding the duplicate. So here, all the duplicates have been removed and only New York and Lucknow have been printed right in the set. So that's the function of symmetric difference or excluding the duplicates from the set. Then difference and difference update. What it does it, it returns set containing difference between two or more sets. Okay. So now, say so for example, I want to use difference in the first case. Okay. And then the other one is difference update. Okay. So dot difference update. Let's see what it returns. So in this case, if you see that there is no difference, so what a difference and difference update does is so anything with update, it will update the first set accordingly in the difference. It will create a new set, right? So here, what we are doing is we are trying to see the difference. What is the difference of demo set one from demo set two? So whatever is there in demo set one is already exist or already exists in demo set two, right? So all these four values exist is there. So there is no difference in this particular case. But if I say what is the difference of a demo set one with demo set two, uh, sorry, demo set two with demo set one, then in this particular case, what I'm doing is I'm trying to find how demo set two is different from demo set one. So in demo set two, there are a couple of values which are not present in demo set one and this is different. So in the first case, demo set one was exactly similar or all the values in demo set one were there in demo set two. So that is why it was printing as null or blank set. So if I run this now in this particular case, you can see Lucknow and New York in the first case have been printed. Uh, but in the second case, I'm still doing difference update. So if I change it to demo set two and demo set one. So what I'm trying to find out is what is the difference of demo set two with different with demo set one. So in this case, it will see this particular set. And because this set demo set two contains two extra values that are not there in demo set one. So it will return those two values, right? Uh, sorry, here we need to print 
2 because what it's doing is it it's updating this demo set 2 in this particular case right so if i run this again you will see lucknow and new york got printed okay so if i just print demo set 1 then this difference update is not updating this set it is updating the set demo set 2 okay so whenever you are using update you have to ensure that the set that is the first set on which you are performing that particular function will be updated so you have to print that accordingly okay now the other methods are is subset and is superset very uh, important methods to understand so is subset say for example i want to check whether demo set one is subset of demo set two right so pretty simple so i want to check demo set one and then dot is subset of demo set two so as you can see, all the values of this particular set are part of the demo set too. So it will return the, the Boolean. So basically what it will do is it will return the Boolean. So in this case, demo set three, what I'm saying here, it will not hold the set as such. It will, because this operation will return the Boolean true or false. Okay. So if I run this, you will see that it will return true in this particular case because whatever it's returning, this demo set three will hold that particular um, Boolean value. So it is returning true because this is subset of this particular set and that is true. So is subset and is superset are the other two methods that are very important. So I can simply, so instead of storing it in the variable because there's the Boolean, so it doesn't make sense to store it in the demo set three. I can say, uh, just say for example, Z. Right, so in this particular case and print Z there. Okay, and if I will try to use is superset, I'll say is superset, then you will see that it has printed false because demo set one is not superset of demo set two. Okay, demo set two is superset of demo set one. If I change that, then it will return true in both the cases, right? So this is all about the some of the key methods about the set. I've covered a lot more detail. Uh, you might not be needing all of this information into the automation, but it's good to learn all this information because this is pretty easy to learn. And if you know that there is something or some method that you have used sometime in the past or you are just aware of it, it will help you a lot to resolve the issues or the problems on the fly when you are doing the automation testing or the Python programming. All right. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and detailed. Thank you very much for watching.